Welcome. This video assumes that you've just watched our basic installation video. This specific video is designed to help you install an additional MTU and CT set. You may be using an additional MTU and CT set for several reasons. You may have a wind, solar, or PV installation that you'd like to monitor. You may also have more than one main breaker panel. You may have a sub-panel that you'd like to monitor independently, or you may be trying to monitor an individual breaker. This video assumes that you have already installed your first MTU and CT set on the main conductors of the main breaker panel. Let's start with installing an additional MTU and CT set to monitor your wind, solar, or PV installation. Using an additional MTU and CT set, connect each current transformer to the incoming wire from the inverter to the breaker. The red polarity dots should be facing towards the source of power. There are three basic configurations for a generation system. The most typical configuration is shown here, where the source of generation feeds into a breaker in the main panel. In our example, measuring transmitting unit 1 is measuring power to and from the electric grid. The CTs are clamped around the main feeds from the meter, with the red polarity dots facing away from the breaker panel. The CTs of MTU2 are clamped on the wires coming into the breaker panel from the generation source. The red polarity dots for MTU2 are facing away from the electrical panel toward the source of generation. The settings for this configuration in the System Settings Wizard are as follows. MTU1 is set to adjusted load so that it will show the direction of current flow to or from the power grid. MTU2 is set to generation. For all generation setups, you will want to change the minimum real-time kilowatt usage to a negative number. The negative number should be the maximum amount that your PV, wind, or solar installation will produce. In our example, we use negative 12 since our generation could be as much as 12 kilowatts. This will allow the real-time dial and the graphing page to display a negative reading. With this configuration, clicking on MTU1 will display the calculated value of the load in your home. Selecting net will show the amount of energy being pulled from or sent to the electrical grid. As a quick test of your setup, turn on a heavy load. MTU1 will show this load as a positive number. The net button will reflect the amount of generation and the load in the home. With a large amount of generation, this becomes negative. With little generation, this number becomes positive. If any of these ratings are not as expected, check the polarity dots on the CTs and which IDs are assigned to each MTU. The second configuration has the generation feeding directly to the meter as opposed to coming through the panel. In this configuration, set MTU1 as load and set MTU2 as generation. Note that where possible, MTU2 can be powered from the main panel. The third configuration is for a generation system where the generation source feeds a battery backup or downstream load. In this particular setup, there could be loads downstream from the CTs. Set MTU1 to adjusted load. This will show MTU1 as a measure of value into and out of the grid. Set MTU2 as standalone net to capture positive and negative values. Next, we can try monitoring an individual breaker. Simply connect one current transformer to the breaker that you'd like to measure. Keep in mind that the MTU will measure the net of both current transformers, so in this case, one current transformer will not be used. On our footprint software, we will change the first MTU to load and the second MTU, which is monitoring the individual breaker, to standalone. This will show us the reading of the breaker without adding the measurement to our net reading. While entering in both MTU serial codes, make sure they correspond to the correct measurement. If you have a sub-panel that you would like to monitor independently, connect the MTU CT set on the circuit feeding the sub-panel located in the main panel. On our footprint software, we will change the first MTU to load and the second MTU, which is monitoring the sub-panel, to standalone. This will show us the reading of the sub-panel without adding the measurement to our net reading since the sub-panel is already measured in our main panel. When entering in both MTU serial codes, make sure they correspond to the correct measurement. These procedures can be used with up to four different MTU and CT sets. Keep in mind that the gateway can only hold up to four MTU and CT sets since they run on four different frequencies. 
If you have three main panels, you would connect an MTU CT set to each main panel. On our footprint software, we will change all three MTU readings to say load. Once you write your device, you will see each breaker panel individually on the footprints dashboard, as well as a net reading of all of your data. Thank you again for purchasing our product. We hope you enjoy using your TED system.